Searchers in the UK have reported what may be the strongest indication yet of possible life beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured an extraordinary event, an intense, sudden flash of energy erupting from Proxima Centauri, the closest known star to our solar system. The flare, both powerful and enigmatic, has left astronomers stunned and forced a re-evaluation of what we understand about stellar behavior. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf located just over 4.2 light-years away, is already known for its volatility, but the sheer magnitude of this latest eruption exceeds anything previously recorded. The discovery was made as part of Webb's ongoing survey of nearby stars, a mission aimed at studying potentially habitable exoplanets and understanding the dynamics of their host stars. Proxima Centauri is particularly noteworthy because it hosts at least two confirmed planets. Proxima b, located within the star's habitable zone, and Proxima c, a larger, colder planet farther out. The flare Webb observed was so intense that it briefly overwhelmed several of the telescope's instruments, producing sharp spikes in both optical and infrared readings. This was no ordinary stellar flare. It was an enormous burst of energy that unfolded in minutes but left signals strong enough to demand weeks of detailed analysis. Proxima Centauri's status as a flare star has long complicated assessments of habitability for Proxima b. Such stars are prone to unpredictable and sometimes violent outbursts, capable of dramatically altering the conditions on surrounding planets. Yet this recent event introduces new layers of complexity. The flare's magnitude and unusual spectral composition defy standard models. Analysis revealed a mix of ultraviolet and infrared radiation, interspersed with patterns of energy that don't align with known stellar flare mechanisms. Whereas typical red dwarf flares result from magnetic field reconnections in the stellar atmosphere, this eruption also included non-thermal emissions, indicative of particles accelerated to near light speeds. Webb's instruments detected charged particles moving through the stellar wind, colliding with nearby matter and generating bursts of synchrotron radiation, a hallmark of extremely high energy processes. Even more intriguing was the orientation of the flare. It appeared focused, almost like a jet, aimed toward the inner planetary zone. If Proxima b happened to be aligned during the eruption, it would have received the full force of the flare. This raises profound implications for the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and the potential for life. A flare of this intensity could strip away significant portions of an atmosphere if magnetic protection is weak or absent. Alternatively, it could trigger complex photochemical reactions, producing transient biomarkers that complicate the search for life by mimicking biological signatures. The energy released in the flare, as measured by Webb's near-infrared spectrometer, was equivalent to tens of thousands of the largest solar flares recorded in our own system. For a star only a fraction of the sun's size, this is staggering. The burst lasted under three minutes, followed by a gradual decay in radiation intensity. Earth-based observatories were alerted immediately, initiating a wave of follow-up observations across multiple wavelengths yet none could match the precision and clarity of Webb's data. Its location at the second Lagrange point, free from atmospheric interference, allowed it to capture details impossible to see from the ground. This event adds urgency to questions surrounding the habitability of red dwarf systems. Red dwarfs account for nearly 75% of the stars in the Milky Way, many hosting exoplanets in narrow habitable zones. If flares of this magnitude are common, or even rare but extreme, they could pose severe challenges to the development of life. Young Proxima b, exposed to repeated radiation bursts, might have struggled to retain water or maintain the molecular stability required for organic life. Even today, any microbial life would need to be protected underground or within rock to avoid DNA damage from ionizing radiation. The flare also hints at a deeper, cyclical process. Webb detected subtle changes in Proxima Centauri's brightness and emission spectrum in the days leading up to the eruption. 
These faint precursors suggest a buildup of magnetic tension within the star, potentially acting as an early warning system for major flares. If such predictive patterns could be decoded, it could revolutionize the study of stellar weather, offering a framework for assessing radiation environments on exoplanets in real time. Astronomers are particularly intrigued by potential secondary effects in the surrounding interstellar medium. The immediate environment around Proxima Centauri is not empty, and the energy released in this flare may have triggered reactions or ripples beyond the star itself, affecting dust, gas, and plasma in ways that could reshape our understanding of nearby space. Webb's observation is more than just a record of stellar activity. It is a glimpse into the forces that shape planetary systems and, perhaps, a hint at conditions that could influence the potential for life in our cosmic neighborhood. The region around Proxima Centauri contains dust, gas, and possibly small comet-like bodies within a sparse debris disk. High-energy radiation like the flare web detected could trigger a cascade of photonic interactions within this environment, potentially creating temporary shock waves or ionization fronts. These secondary effects might influence planetary orbits and even complicate observations of the system from afar. Studying these interactions could refine techniques for analyzing exoplanet atmospheres and identifying potential biosignatures. The flare has also prompted a closer look at Proxima b's magnetic environment. Unlike Earth, whose magnetosphere shields life from the Sun's energetic outbursts, the strength and structure of Proxima b's magnetic field are unknown. A strong magnetic field could protect the planet's atmosphere from extreme flares, while a weak or absent field could leave the surface exposed to sterilizing radiation, gradually eroding the atmosphere over time. Future observations with James Webb may help determine this by searching for spectral signs of atmospheric loss or changes in the planet's reflectivity following flaring events. The detailed data collected by Webb allows scientists to reconstruct the flare's evolution almost in real time. Initial spikes in ultraviolet light were quickly followed by bursts in near-infrared and X-ray bands, each revealing different layers of the star's atmosphere and magnetic structure. Researchers are developing models to understand the interplay between convection zones, magnetic loops, and plasma eruptions that produce such colossal releases of energy. It's a forensic approach to stellar violence that is reshaping how low-mass stars are understood to evolve over time. The flare may also have implications for the search for technological signatures. Any intelligent life on Proxima b would undoubtedly notice such a massive stellar event potentially marking a pivotal moment in their planetary history. Likewise, extraterrestrial observers monitoring Earth-like worlds could be affected by flares from their stars, driving them to develop protective or adaptive technologies. Understanding the frequency and intensity of these events could guide SETI efforts, highlighting which energy patterns or stellar behaviors might signal civilizations responding to their environment. On a larger astrophysical scale, this flare contributes to our understanding of magnetic reconnection, the process thought to drive many explosive phenomena, from solar flares to gamma ray bursts. Observing a high energy event at this proximity provides an unprecedented natural laboratory to test theoretical models. Magnetic reconnection, while crucial to understanding stellar behavior, remains one of the least understood processes in astrophysics. Webb's data could help reveal how magnetic field lines snap, reform, and release energy at near light speeds, bridging a long-standing gap in knowledge. Even the flare's impact on Webb's instruments has proven instructive. The intense burst temporarily saturated some detectors, prompting the calibration team to refine exposure settings for unpredictable, high-energy events. This feedback loop, where discovery informs engineering, highlights the adaptive and dynamic nature of modern space science. Every surprise captured by Webb not only deepens theoretical understanding but also enhances the telescope's readiness for the next cosmic anomaly. The observations of this unprecedented flare raise profound questions. Was it purely a natural stellar event, or could it hint at something more, 
an unexplored aspect of stellar physics, or even a signal from a distant intelligence? As astronomers continue to analyze the data, one thing is clear. Proxima Centauri has reminded us that the universe is far more dynamic, violent, and mysterious than we often assume.